Are you having difficulties in enrolling and managing Apple iOS devices in Intune for full management via Apple Business Manager? In this mini video, we'll learn about how you enroll and manage iOS-based devices in Apple Business Manager via Microsoft Intune. But before that, we'll understand what Apple Business Manager is, what is the general process, how this differs from your normal personal own mode or BYOD mode, and then we'll get started in enrolling the devices. In this lecture, we'll be looking at the iOS enrollment mode in fully managed profile or ADE. So right down here, you have your iOS device end user device. This can be either an iPhone or an iPad. The very first step, what you need to do is ensure that this is paired with your Apple Business Manager, which is a separate service. We'll be looking at this uh, subsequently. So this is a free service provided by Apple in order to uh, manage um, devices that you have or inventory them so that you can have a better track of your Apple devices, whether if it's a Mac, uh, your Apple TV, iOS, iPad, OS device. So the very first thing is to get this Apple Business Manager service enabled for your business account and then enroll or onboard or add these devices into Apple Business Manager. Each of the device is added through a serial number. So you can manually do this via Apple configurator. So this is a manual step wherein you'd need two devices or two Apple based devices in order to make this work. The second option is let's say you have a vendor like AT&T or any other telecom provider which sell iPhone. What you can do as a business is you tell them uh, saying that I need to purchase like let's say 100 iPhones and all those serial numbers linked to those 100 iPhones have to be linked to your business manager. What you can do is you can take their vendor contract number and add it to your Apple business manager corporate account. And once you add their information in here, whatever device they sell to you, those serial numbers will be linked to your Apple Business Manager. So imagine 100 iPhones being shipped to multiple different locations across the world, which are linked to your Business Manager. You can provide these units out of the box experience. Meaning what? If I get an iPhone, when I power it on, on the screen, it will be shown as this device belongs to Secure Wire, and you know you need to complete like a series of steps in order to get this device fully functional up and running. So you can implement all of the policies right from the very first step. So that is called out of the box experience or OOBE, which is a pretty cool thing uh, that you have to do or enable it through the vendor integration into your business manager account. So this is automated and this is manual. The configurator option is manual and this is fully automated. Once you set up your business manager, when you turn on Intune services, you can integrate both of these together and have like a two way sync as shown here, wherein your device information that lives in here, all the devices, the 100 iPhones that you purchase, will be synced to Intune and Intune will know that you have 100 devices which are managed through Apple Business Manager. And then what you can do is you can roll out configurations and policies to those 100 devices that it has visibility through the Apple Business Manager. So that way you have a two-way sync that is information from Business Manager flows into Intune and Intune updates Apple Business Manager on the devices it controls with respect to policy and configuration deployment. This is a, a high level view of fully managed iOS enrollment and it is called automated device enrollment. We'll be looking at this in greater detail when we actually do the practical demonstration. So far we have understood what the concept is around fully managed devices that you have in your organization which are either iOS or iPadOS devices. In this lecture, we're gonna talk about what Apple Business Manager is, why you need it, and how you can get access to it. 
So Apple Business Manager, as we know, is a free service and it is available on business.apple.com. So if you access this URL, you're going to see this portal up here, which asks you to log in via your Apple ID. Before you log in, you need to make sure that you have a legitimate organization with proper registration with the government entities, your taxation. And most importantly, Apple Business Manager is not available in all of the countries. So if you navigate to the Apple support portal over here, you can see based on the continents and it is not available in all of the countries. So you can expand and see like, you know, what countries are included and which countries are not. All right. So that is a key thing that you need to know. Once you know that it is supported in the country that you have your business with, you can sign up using this link, which is uh, mentioned down here. Uh, the first thing that you need to have is your business details, right? So you need to make sure you have your proper legal name, uh, your work email, which is associated to your domain of the business, your business name, which should be complied with your uh, legal or regulatory compliance. And once you have this information populated, so there's the last thing that you need to know is your DUNS number which is related to your organization. And once you have that, uh, there is a verification process that takes place and you get a phone call to determine what your requirements are and uh, to verify your business that it truly exists and it is set up as per your legal practices. And once that is completed, you get a final confirmation and you're set to go. And the final email, something looks like this. All right, and once you have your entire verification process completed you get an email that looks something like this and um so you see uh, we have verified our organization and you can confirm and then you can start using apple business manager and once you have your account created you can then log in to your apple business manager which is again business.apple.com and once you're in here it looks something like this right so it's pretty sleek minimalistic and essentially you have all of your devices enrolled in here and all of your apps that you bulk purchase uh, located in here just like how we talked about this in the theory lecture um the most important thing that you need to know uh which is the primary aspect of apple business manager is automatic device enrollment or ade right so we already saw that. So you come out here and go to preferences. So we navigate to devices and under devices, you see something called as Apple customer number or reseller number. What this essentially is, is that if you have like a, a mass deployment of let's say um, iPhones or iPads, you purchase that through something like an authorized resale channel, right? Or you directly purchase it from your Apple um, account right so if you're purchasing it from the apple root you'd need to enter your customer number in here and click on add so then what you can do is directly purchase those devices and ship it directly to your employees home or offices or wherever they are and you don't need to get them to your it office so you can manually configure them set up and it's a long process right so this is a pretty sleek process wherein you can automatically link your Apple customer number. And as and when you purchase new devices, you can directly out of the box, provide them with your highest security. The next route is your reseller number. So this could be your authorized uh, third party resellers or channels that you actually purchase from them. So you can add your reseller number and it's going to link in. All right. In our context, um, we're going to manually upload or add devices via something called as an Apple configurator. So that happens if you have not purchased it through uh, either of these two routes or you purchase them before linking your reseller account in here. Right. So those devices fall out of scope on adding it automatically. So we have to manually add them. Right. So this is the primary thing that Apple Business Manager is there for. The second thing is apps and books. So you can bulk purchase applications 
For example, if you purchase like 50 licenses of uh, various apps, you can provision what apps go on which devices or user, right? So that when your users leave, your licenses are not taken by the user. So essentially you keep the licenses and uh, you uh, proactively manage them from here itself. So this is the second greatest thing that it helps you to do on a very large scale. And lastly, what we do here is we come down here in your bottom left corner, click on here and click on preferences. And towards the bottom out here, you see your MDM servers. Now, since we are talking about Microsoft Intune, we would want to make sure that we link our Apple Business Manager to Microsoft Intune. So this is the place that you actually set up that configuration and communication between your Apple Business Manager and Microsoft Intune so that information can be synced both ways. And there are many other options like directory sync, single sign on. You can do things like uh, uh, Microsoft Azure AD sync or Entra sync, Google Workspace sync. You can add your credit card information to purchase like applications, you can create other accounts. So we'll not get into these things because it's a little out of scope. So we only talked about like what the essentials are with respect to what business manager is. Um, and the next big thing would be to associate our Intune and link it with our business manager portal. So in this lecture, we have seen how you sign up for your Apple business manager, what it is and what are the things that cope with it. In this lecture, we're going to look at the actual process of linking Microsoft Intune with our Apple business manager. And this will be to manage our fully controlled devices or fully managed devices for iOS or iPadOS. So let's jump right into it. So we come into our Intune portal and we go to devices and we're interested in linking our iOS devices. So we're gonna come into the by platform sub menu, click on iOS, iPadOS. And the next thing is the second option, which is the enrollment piece. In here, we are interested in the DEP or device enrollment program. So the second option is something that we'll need to select. So it's enrollment program tokens. Once we click on that, we get this enrollment programs token page. So we don't have any tokens created. A token essentially is a piece of code that gets generated in here that we have to import in our business manager and authorize that connection. All right. So we click on add to create a new token. The first step is to make sure that we grant a permission to sync the information between Intune and your Apple Business Manager. And from now on, I'm just gonna call it ABM, just for simplicity. So we're gonna give the consent, say I agree. And then download our public key on the Intune side. So once that is done, we're gonna go into our Apple Business Manager and create a token in there. So either you can go to business.apple.com or you can click on this link, which is gonna take you directly in there. So we're gonna go into our account and click on preferences. And at the bottom over here, we don't have any MDM servers defined. We'll click on add MDM server. We're gonna call this secure wire in tune. Right, so we'll leave this checked so that as and when devices are getting deprovisioned, we can release them, right? Click on this button to import the public key that we have generated. And now you're gonna save this and this will generate our token. So over here it says it's not connected because we have not imported the token as yet. So I'm gonna click this button called download token to get that token information. Since I have it downloaded now, I'm gonna go back to my Intune portal. And add my Apple ID. Once I have my Apple ID populated in here, the last step is to add the token itself. So the format would be 
dot p seven m, which is an S mime based token. <coughs> Click on next, and if it is um, generated correctly, this should work. So let's hope it does. All right. So now it says the status is active. Sync is successful, but we don't have any devices. Let's go back to the business manager and make sure that it is set. Yes, now the information has been changed to last connected and it's showing us the date. Right. What I like to do over here is change the default device assignment. Right. So as and when devices are coming into Apple Business Manager, I want to make sure that all of those get tagged into my Intune rather than the business manager uh, portal itself. I'm going to see if there are any new iPads that are coming in. I uh, want to make sure that they are tagged into the secure by Intune MDM. Uh, so should the Mac, iPhones, iPad, iPods, nobody is using it, but I'm still going to select everything and hit on save. So whenever new devices come in, as far as enrollments are concerned, they're automatically going to tag with Microsoft Intune. The next very really important thing is that you have an expiration date for this token. All right. And you see this counter, which is counting down. Once the token is expired, you need to make sure that you go to your business manager and you renew the token by going into your MDM server and click download token. So this will automatically renew it and revoke the old one. So we'll need to re-import it back in here. So once you have downloaded that token, you come in here and click on renew token and down here, you reapply your new token and that will automatically change that expiration date. So very important. Otherwise, your whole enrollment process will fail. And now that we have linked our Apple Business Manager with Intune, we are now ready to set and add devices in, in um, I'm sorry, in uh, the Business Manager and then we'll, they will automatically sync up in Intune. Just to confirm, under devices, I don't have anything added in here. And with that, we come to the end of this current video and we have seen how you can provision your Apple Business Manager tokens and get Business Manager connected with Microsoft Intune so that we have two-way communication between our MDM and our Business Manager so that we can consistently share information and manage our devices through a secure channel. In this video, we're going to have a look at something called as Apple VPP tokens or volume purchase program tokens, what it is from a practical standpoint and how you can link that from your Apple business manager to your Intune portal. So let's jump right into it. As we have seen in the past in the theory lecture, VPP is used to purchase by applications in bulk, provision them from your Apple business manager, and then provide those instances to your Microsoft Intune MDM portal. So what we'll do here is first come into our Apple Business Manager, navigate to preferences under apps and books. I have something called as a content token, right? So this is the one that I'm interested in, which is the VPP token that enables me to purchase applications in bulk and then sync them to my Intune portal. So this could be either paid apps or free apps, right? That I want to control from one single repository. And we have already seen the importance of protecting your paid apps and controlling them from a single place. So I'm going to go ahead and download this token. And to add this to my Intune portal, I need to go back to my Intune portal. I need to go into tenant administration and then connectors and tokens. And under here, there's an option called as Apple VPP tokens down here. So I'm going to click that. And I don't have any tokens created. So I'm going to go ahead and create one. And I'm going to call this secure wire VPP token. Provide my Apple ID. So this would be the one that you would 
use and tie into your Apple Business Manager. And then select the recently downloaded VPP token file from our Business Manager. So once that is done, I'm going to hit next. So I'm going to keep everything default, my country, and I'm going to select the VPP account type as business because uh, I don't have an education based or like a college program because my organization is a business. So I'm going to select that one and automatic app updates. What it means is as in when you have new updates, um, they're going to seamlessly transfer to your uh, users apps. So if I want to do that, you can select yes. For now, I'm going to select no and I'm going to grant Microsoft the permission to sync that information back and forth. Right. So I'm going to hit next to complete this. Not using any scope tags, so you can leave this one. Review and create. So the VPP token is created, it is active, but if you see the last sync time is somewhere in 1970. So it has not synced as yet. So in order to do a manual sync before that, we'll create some apps on our business manager so that it's synced up in our Intune portal. So let's do that real quick jump into business manager and then go to apps and books and right at the top on the search bar i'm gonna search for something called as company portal because this is the most important app and you're gonna see it later as you can see it is a free version so i'm gonna select that and quantity i'm gonna select 10 for now so if you have 100 devices you can go with 100 so there's no hard and fast rule for this and say get right so once that is done i'm gonna go ahead and let's say get the office apps so this is just to do like a demo so Microsoft 365 is something that I want, which is the suite of all the apps like Word, PowerPoint, all of that stuff. So this is just to test it out. And again, I'm going to select 10 and get these as well. So that has gone through. All right. So once you have multiple apps purchased or linked in your business manager you can come back to your intune vpp token and you can then sync to make sure that you have the accurate number of apps show up in intune as well so you can assign them to your devices all right so after some time we have these apps show up on our apps and books tab in our business manager that we have purchased and applied licenses to. Like for example, I have 10 licenses for this, which I believe it's true and company portal as well. And Logic Pro for iPad, I just did as a test. So we'll go back to our Intune portal and under tenant administration, navigate to our VPP connector under connectors and tokens. Apple VPP token and then we're going to do a sync. All right. So let this continue to sync and gather the information about the newly added apps on the business manager side. So it'll show up on our Intune portal. So we'll go to apps, iPad, iOS apps. And as you can see, our three apps are now showing up on our Intune portal. And the type is showing as iOS Volume Purchase Program App or VPP app. Now what I can do is I can provision these apps and assign them to multiple users or devices via groups or single assignments. And with that, we come to the end of this current video and, and we have seen how we can link VPP tokens from Apple Business Manager, link it to Microsoft Intune so that you can purchase, enroll apps, and then subsequently sync them to your Intune portal. And from there, you can add them or assign them to your users. 
This is a mini video of a comprehensive course on Microsoft Intune for mobile device management hosted on Udemy. In that comprehensive course, we discuss and dive into the entire process of use cases, architecture, initialization, device enrollment, application management, deployment, and management of Intune for mobile devices. If you need a coupon of exclusive 50% off just for the audience that is currently watching this video, email us on support at securewire.org. That is a fully practical course with live devices and exclusive hands-on experience. So what are you waiting for? Get enrolled and get learning on the full course. In this lecture, we'll be looking at how you can manually add iOS-based devices to your Apple Business Manager via something called as Apple Configurator. So if you look out here, we do not have any devices tagged under Apple Configurator. That is, we don't have any devices showing up that are enrolled or added to our Business Manager. So what we'll do here is hop on to my desk and I'm going to show you how you can uh, download, install, set up, configure, and add your iOS devices via Apple Configurator. All right, so as you can see, I have an iPad Pro and I have an iPhone over here, and both are turned on. Uh, my goal is to add this iPhone to my Apple Business Manager using this iPad. So you need one Apple device to add another Apple based iPhone or an iPad. So it can be two iPhones, two iPads or one iPhone, iPad, whatever you have in stock with you. All right. So we'll. All right. So we'll go over here and let's see if we can zoom in. And fire up the App Store. And I'm going to search for the Apple configurator. Make sure you see this. All right. And this is the one that we are looking for. And I'm going to get that installed. All right, so that is installed and I'm going to open that up. So in here, what you have to do is, is quickly set it up and configure it by providing your Apple Business Manager credentials. So it's ready to go and add my iPhone to my Business Manager. In here, you have to provide your Business Manager user ID. Once that is done, I'm going to hit continue. It will ask for the password. Once I have my credentials. So once I have my credentials entered, I'm going to hit continue. So it sent a two factor verification code to my registered mobile number. So I'm going to enter that. All right, so once we have that entered and we are logged in and it's now asking us for the permission to access the camera. So let's say OK. And now as you can see. This. And now as you can see, it is looking for like a scan. There's a sort of a circle that we need to use and scan the code from our phone. Right. So this is all set to go. So I'm going to keep this down. Make sure this is in portrait mode. And I'm going to fire up my phone. So I'm going to keep this aside. And get my phone in here. And I need to reset this phone so that we can scan the code and add this iPhone to our business manager. So let's get started.
So we'll head over to settings and here reset the phone. Right, so erase this iPhone. Provide the passcode to complete the erase process. And the erase process has started. What we'll do here is I'm going to pause. So we'll let this complete and try to see what comes up next. All right, so our phone is all set up. It has been erased and it is now on its startup screen. So we're going to go ahead and proceed further. Select the language and your country code as specified. Once the language and country is set up, it should get into the setup screen. And over here, what you need to do is bring up your other device. All right, so as soon as I brought my iPad close to the device or the phone, it has popped up a screen and there's some sort of a globe rotating and it says add this iPhone to your organization. So what we'll do here is we're going to scan this globe with the orb that we were having on the iPad. So I'm going to bring my iPad real close and scan it out. And as soon as I scanned it, it says now adding iPhone to my organization and it is now activating. So behind the scenes, my phone is getting registered to my Apple Business Manager. I'm going to make sure the screen remains active so you can see it. And now we got a message saying that iPhone has been added to this company name. Right? So I need to next assign this phone to an MDM so that it can be managed. So the phone has now been added so we can go ahead and confirm it. And if you navigate to devices, we should be able to see our newly added device, which is iPhone 11. It was added through Apple configurator. So all of this looks good. Now, what it essentially means is I have my corporate owned device fully enrolled and set up in my business manager. Next, what I need to do is assign this device to my Intune MDM. Because if you see here, the MDM server is currently uh, turned out, turns out to be the Apple configurator. So we'll go back to devices, select our iPhone and say edit MDM server. And I next say assign this device to the following MDM, which is SecureWire Intune. Hit continue and confirm. This is going to take some time uh, because this information needs to be synced with Microsoft Intune towards the other side. So in order to do that, we'll go to our Intune portal, go to devices, iOS, iPadOS, iOS enrollment. From here, we'll head over to enrollment program tokens, select our token and go to devices. So far, our last sync happened quite a while back. Um, so since we added the device just now, we're going to go ahead and do a manual sync. So I'm going to click this button to sync the information right away. And hopefully my device that I added just now should show up in here. So give this a minute to let this complete. All right, and there you can see my iPhone 11 
has now been showing up into my Intune portal. So our next step would be to assign this an enrollment profile so that we can see how the out of the box experience would be for a normal user for whom which we will provide this iPhone to. So this would be a corporate user. So we'll do that in the next video. But just to recap in this video, what we have done is we have seen the steps in detail, how you can manually add an iOS device, whether if it's an iPad or an iOS based iPhone to your Apple business manager using something called as an Apple configurator. In this lecture, we're going to have a look at creating enrollment profiles and assigning them to our devices and subsequently completing the fully managed um, process for our iOS or iPad OS devices. In the last lecture, we saw how we added iOS devices, that is our iPhone, to our business manager using the Apple configurator. Now, when I go to devices, iOS, iPad OS devices and under enrollment, if I select enrollment program tokens and select my business manager token, I now see one device showing up in here, but it is associated to this status. That's like a warning message. It says missing profile. So our next step is to make sure we have the correct profiles created and assigned to a group. So that is exactly what we'll be doing in this video. So under the same window, we go to something called as profile under manage down here. And then we don't have any profiles. So we're going to go ahead and create a profile. So we are interested in doing one for iOS and iPad OS devices. So we'll select that. And I'm going to call this SecureWire Corp Devices, which means corporate devices. And under description, I can just say fully managed. Oops corporate owned devices. All right, so I'm going to click next. All right, so I'm going to explain you these steps which are very, very important and crucial because you need to provide a seamless user experience for your end user. And I'm going to explain you what are the best practices, pros and cons associated to each one of them. All right, so the first one is authentication and affinity. Now, affinity means something like a scope. It can either be user affinity or device affinity. You have to remember that um, if you select enroll with user affinity, it would mean that one device would be associated to a user, right? So a user would physically need to authenticate and then use it. If you select enroll without user affinity, this would be like a shared device that you can see like a kiosk, a kiosk machine that is not having a single user but there is there are multiple users using it okay and the third one is enroll with microsoft intra shared mode so this would be like a device which is shared between multiple people so for now let's go ahead and select enroll with user affinity authentication method is the mode of authentication for the users you have multiple options here company portal with being the recommended by microsoft so this is the company portal app that we provisioned using that vpp uh, process so this app is exclusive to this process to authenticate users then you have setup assistant which is a legacy process and this is not recommended right then you also have a setup assistant with modern authentication. So if you don't want to use company portal, but we highly recommend you to use company portal so that everything works seamlessly and transparently. So once you select the company portal, Intune needs the licenses or the app to be provisioned on the phone so that it is installed first. That is the company portal app is installed first. The device is enrolled, tied into Intune, and then the user can use it. In order to do that, it needs the VPP link that we have already seen. So my VPP token would be shown up here. If you use this option 
um, Intune will not know how to install this company portal app. So your user will need to manually install that first. So we want to provide a seamless experience for all of our users. And we're going to select our token that we had created. The next option is to run the company portal app in a single app mode. What this means is if you have things like MFA or multi-factor turned on, um, and if you select yes over here, this will not work. Um, so the user will have issues switching back and forth between different apps. So it is always recommended to select no so that MFA prompts and other applications that open behind the scenes are allowed and can be accessed by the users, right? And supervise is turned on or turned yes by default. And under locked enrollment, this needs to be selected as yes because you don't want your users to remove your enrollment profiles because that would circumvent the security. Sync with other computers, I would generally say deny all. All right, and scrolling down, there's an option to name a device. So you have some customization over here. So the template is device type dash serial number. So you can use this one. So I'm going to copy this and paste it in here. So I have serial number, which is the device serial number and then device type. Um, and it is separated by a dash. So this would be um, the naming convention that it would show up in Microsoft Intune. And activate cellular data, I'm gonna select no, which is the default. So I'm gonna leave that untouched and hit next. And on the setup assistant, which is the screen that you normally get when you reset your iPhones or iPad OS devices. So department, I'm gonna just say secure IT. And department phone, this is the service desk or your help desk phone number. So I'm just gonna put in 555. 6633554 so this is a fictitious number now the most important part comes out here which is your end user experience so if you have so these are all the options that you get typically when you uh, reset an iPhone or an iPad device wherein it shows you multiple options so that your users can um, interact with them and enter the data so I want to be as transparent as possible with zero to none intervention by the user because this is a corporate owned device and I'm going to push all the settings and compliance rules behind the scenes from Intune. So I'm going to toggle all so that it is hidden, right? So passcode is hidden, location services, Apple ID is to hide everything, right? So let's say everything is hidden. So everything is hidden. Um, I can or you can enable some features. Let's say for security reasons, I want to enable passcode. So I'm going to show this so that the user can set up passcode. All of this I'm going to turn off that is hidden, right? Going to hide all of them. Very important. Make sure you hide Apple ID. Otherwise, the user will enter their own Apple ID and link um, the device uh, to their iCloud account and things like that, right? Touch ID, face ID, I'm going to show and give them like a liberty to do some sort of biometric based authentication. I'm going to disable Siri, everything else. Home button, let's say show. Um, screen time show. Uh, everything else, let's disable, all right? So I'm going to hit next, verify this looks good and hit create. All right. So our profile is created, but it is not assigned to any devices. 
right? So we'll go to devices, select this device, and say assign profile, and select a newly created profile and hit assign. All right, as you can see, the date has now been changed and a profile is assigned to a device. So go to overview, and now the status has been changed from missing profile to ready to enroll. So our next step would be to go to our device itself and then enroll it. And you can see how the process or the how the end user experience is from a user's perspective, right? So in this video, we saw how we can create enrollment profiles. We linked enrollment profiles to devices that are ready to be enrolled. And in the subsequent video, we'll be jumping in to the live action on the enrollment itself. So see you in the next one. In this video, we're going to look at the actual enrollment process from an end user perspective. So I have my iPhone over here that is handed over to a new prospective user at my company. And we're going to see um, from an end user perspective how the experience pans out to be. So as you can see, the phone is still starting up and booting up. Um, and just to recap, we created one enrollment profile in the last lecture. And if you recollect, we had skipped several options. So we're going to keep that into account and really try to see how it turns out to be for the end user. All right, so our phone is on our setup screen. So we're gonna go ahead and continue. Select the language and the country. And select this appearance as default. I don't wanna use quick start. Hit continue here. The most important step over here is for the phone or the iPad. So it can be both. It's the same process, essentially. So you have to select a Wi-Fi network so that the phone or your iPad gets internet connectivity. Once that is connected, it should go and probe and sync to the Apple services and retrieve configuration. So we'll give it this in a minute. All right, retrieving configuration. All right, um, this step you would normally not see on your typical iPhone or iPads that you purchase it for your personal use, right? So if you have used an iOS or an iPad OS device. So it says remote management this phone is owned by Securesys Technologies Private Limited, and you are required to enroll this phone to the MDM, which is our Intune portal. So we'll go ahead and click this button, enroll this iPhone, and we'll see uh, what are some of the different steps in here. So installing configuration from Securesys Technologies. So if you remember, Face ID is something that we turned on. Uh, so I'm going to set up this later. I'm going to create a passcode. And re-enter that again. Screen time is also something that we had enabled. So I'm going to skip this for now. And immediately I'm on my home screen right so this looks good um, looks like it is setting up some apps in the background we'll quickly go into settings and as you can see at the top I'm not sure if you can read through it but I'm gonna pull this up it says uh, this iPhone is supervised and managed by Securesys Technologies Private Limited right so it didn't prompt for Apple ID nothing right so we'll keep this aside 
and our phone is all set up right so we can hop on to our intune portal and you can try to see what's the status in here so under devices ipad os enrollment program tokens from our previous lecture our status was on ready to enroll and now let's try to see and refresh this our status is now changed to enrolled so this is turning to one now if i go to devices ios ipad os devices i now see one phone called iphone uh, it is managed by intune and it is showing up on my portal over here all right so don't worry about ownership and compliance all of the other things we're gonna have a look at this uh, subsequently and this was the end of this current video wherein we saw what is the end user experience on actual enrollment so you can imagine if you have like 100 iphones that you wanted to provision it to 100 users you can simply add them to your business manager using your retail account right and then directly ship them uh, to your users and that is how seamless it would be so i hope this video was informative to you i hope to see you in the next one in this video we're gonna kick start and deploy some apps on our phone that is already enrolled in intune via the fully owned mode and then we're gonna see the process about installing the apps and so on so let's get started before that uh, we'll jump into the business manager and in here we had already approved microsoft 365 intune portal and logic pro for ipad let's go ahead and add some more applications in here so let's search for evernote which is our favorite note taking application and click on that so it's an ios app so you need to make sure you select the correct one and let's go ahead and assign 10 licenses and get that one next let's say we'll do a couple more um microsoft authenticator which is a multi-factor authentication app um right uh so here it is and we'll get this one as well so let's go with 10 instances and get uh, let's also put the microsoft edge browser All right, so now with this done, we'll go back to our Intune portal and sync the information. So this may take about 15 to 20 minutes to sync the information back. So we'll go to Intune. All right, so on our Intune portal, we'll go to Tenant Administration, Connectors and Tokens, VPP Token, and we need to sync this token because um, it syncs on its own, but since we want this result much faster, we need to do a manual sync so that we have that result in instantaneously. So we'll click on these three dots and hit sync. I'll give this a minute. Now confirm this from the last sync time. All right, so I can hit the progress over here. It looks like it completed now we can go back to apps and we can see if those apps have now synced up in here um go to ios ipad os gonna hit refresh and sure enough evernote um microsoft authenticator and edge is also showing up in here if you notice the type of these apps is ios volume purchase program app or vpp app which indicates that this was indeed synced via Apple Business Manager. Next, what we'll do is we're going to assign this app to our group that we had created uh, in the very beginning, if you recollect, so that these are installed on our devices. I'm going to demonstrate two scenarios for you, right? So one will be in the first type of installations, 
you would want these apps or some of them to be automatically installed on your end user devices without even them noticing, right? So this will be things like Microsoft Authenticator, wherein you have multi multi-factor authentication turned on everywhere. So this is a mandatory application. Then you also need to have company portal installed, uh, but this was already done in the configuration of the corporate owned devices enrollment. So we don't need to do anything about this. And then uh, let's say 365 applications like Office and Edge also needs to be uh, automatically installed. So we'll go ahead and do that. And in order to perform that action, you need to go through each app. So what we'll do here is we're gonna pick up Authenticator first, click on that. And we're gonna hit properties and then go to assignments at the bottom and hit edit. Now you have three options. You have required, available, and uninstall. We are interested in putting this into the compulsory list and it comes under required. If you put in the second option, this app will be available for the user to install from your company portal list, right? So it will not automatically install. So a user will manually need to go to the um, company portal page and then install it from there. The third option is an automated uninstall wherein you don't want that application installed on certain groups, then you can add that group in here or users, right? So go ahead and um, associate our installation scope to this required group. And we'll click on this option to add a group. And we had created two groups. If you recollect, uh, I'm interested in assigning this group right and hit select you also have uh, option like add all users add all devices so you can use one of them if you click on add all users all of your users will be added in here which personally I don't like because I want granular control then you click on review and save and save again so authenticator will be configured to automatically install all right so the assigned field has now been changed to yes for microsoft authenticator and i'm gonna do this for 365 and ai browser that is microsoft edge uh, real quick the same exact steps All right, so I went ahead and made Office apps, Microsoft Authenticator and Microsoft Edge browser app, these three as auto install, right? Now what we'll do is for the remaining applications, we'll add them to our uh, company portal as optional, wherein the user can go ahead and install them if they want to, right? So go to assignments and now we're going to populate our group in available for enrolled devices right all right with that being done i'm gonna go and do the same for logic pro for ipad right we're gonna keep things simple i don't want to have like hundreds of apps and make things convoluted for you so this is just for you to understand that you have the process to auto install apps behind the scenes so this will be very useful for you to deploy things like a vpn application or a security application uh, certificate and things th and things like that right refresh this and Everything is good to go except for company portal, which is auto installed on its own when you have device being enrolled. What we'll do now is we'll hop to our iPhone and I'll try to see if I can mirror the screen. All 
we make this video is very intuitive and spend a lot of money and effort in getting these uh, up up for you so that you can have better experience and knowledge so feel free to uh, leave a good review if you liked it um, so we'll highly appreciate that with that being said uh, we'll go ahead and fire up company portal and we haven't signed in as yet right so we have provisioned this device but we haven't signed in so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in so this will be the user that you have um assign the intune license so if a user does not have an intune license this will not work right so for me it is support at securewire.org hit next sign in hopefully that works All right. All right. Uh, we'll go through the setup process. And if you notice, our customization is now showing up with a fancy logo and theme. So I'm going to hit OK and accept notifications. Now, um, let's begin the process of completion. So this will do some final addition to our setup process. It's not going to take much time and hit continue. So this is checking the compliance policies. All right. So that is completed and we're going to hit done. And as you can see, if I click on view all apps, I can see Evernote show up here as the optional app. Um, and we're going to go to the home screen and we'll try to see if other applications are getting installed automatically. And FYI, the Logic Pro for iPad app was not showing up because this is obviously not an iPad. It's an iPhone. So we'll keep an eye on the automated install and it should be done anytime soon. All right. So as you can see here, this icon this very uh, right bottom icon, there is an app which is getting installed. So I, I just highlighted it for you. So that one is getting installed, which is a good sign. So this is happening behind the scenes automatically. So let's see, I think it is um, Microsoft 365 or Edge. So let's confirm that in a minute. Uh, it's installing, so this is the one. Yeah, it is Microsoft 365. It has completed the installation. The other one was Microsoft Authenticator. I think that one also will get installed in a minute. But uh, I just wanted to show you the gist behind it and the process associated to it. Um, we'll just open up Company Portal again. And I just wanted to show you this um, information in here. So it says uh, device settings can access company resources. Uh, and if you see down here, ownership type, it is corporate, right? Um, otherwise it would show as uh, personal. And if I click on support, uh, I see my um, help desk number, my site and the email address. And all of that looks good. And finally, on our devices page for iOS and iPad OS, our phone is syncing as per our policies that we had set up for enrollment, which is serial number dash iPhone managed by Intune. Ownership is now showing as corporate, fully compliant. And this is the iOS that it's running on uh, and last check-in. So in this video, we have seen how we can provision apps silently, silently behind the scenes and we also saw the final steps of verification and completion of this final elements. I hope this video was very informative to you. Until then, see you in the next one. This is a mini video of a comprehensive course on Microsoft Intune for mobile device management hosted on Udemy. In that comprehensive course, we discuss and dive into the entire process of use cases, architecture, initialization, 
device enrollment, application management, deployment, and management of Intune for mobile devices. If you need a coupon of exclusive 50% off just for the audience that is currently watching this video, email us on support at securewire.org. That is a fully practical course with live devices and exclusive hands-on experience. So what are you waiting for? Get enrolled and get learning on the full course.